All right, welcome back to Dino World uh, Dinopedia. Today we're going to be talking about the Apatosaurus or the Apato. Um, we're going to be looking at our schedule for the video, which is our, uh, we're going to be talking about the Ark Survival Apatosaurus, which is available in the Additional Creatures mod. We're going to be talking about tips and tricks for how to use it. And we're going to also talk about potential add-ons to Ark Survival if the Apatosaurus was to be released in the full game. And we're also going to be talking about reworking the Apatosaurus for my new game, Dino World. So let's start. The Apatosaurus from the Additional Creatures mod in Ark Survival Ascended. Description, Kingdle Animalia, because it's an animal. Group Reptilian, because it's a lizard, dinos or lizards. And description is a spined sauropod. As you can see, it has spines running down its head all the way down to its tail. Additional traits include spines, of course, all the way down to the head and tail. Very passive and likely to flee rather than f fight unless protecting its young, so it's very protectionist. It'll protect itself, but if its young does get attacked, it will fight and defend its young. So very motherly. So the stats for Ark Survival's uh, Ascendant's Apatosaurus is, of course, it has 1,600 health, um, stamina 300, oxygen 150, food water 3,000, weight 900, melee, base melee 30, uh, speed is 4 meters per second, so that's how fast it walks, and its swimming speed is a little slower at 3 meters per second, and torpal is 4,500. So some tips for the creature, first of all, it is a modded creature in the additional creatures mod, so you do need to download that in order to have the Apatosaurus. It was added as an assault sauropod, having a multi-attack portfolio of offensive options, similar to the uh, Amargosaurus. It has a bite attack that does 30 damage, stomp attack that does 95 damage, back stomp that does 45 damage, and a left and right tail swipe, each doing 65 damage each. Um, it is also has the protective class, it protecting other creatures, the, the Apatosaurus gains a 25% damage boost and a 25% resistance to direct attacks. So if it is around a creature that has critical health, it will do an additional 25 damage and have a 25% resistance buff attached to it. So you can use this. So in the tricks category, the Apato is a good offensive mount. If it isn't the first creature to fight, it also gains its protective skill if around allied creatures that have less than 50% health. So of course, if you send out a bunch of trikes and they start getting injured, if the Apato comes out afterwards, then the Apato will have the 25% damage boost, 25% resistance boost. Using the Apato's multi-attacks will allow it to take on many boss creatures such as Gigas, Golems, and Titans if it has that 25% protection boost. boost. Boosting an Allo's health and damage is the best, as it allows a Dino to stay alive longer, allowing to use its protective skill for a longer amount of time, with boosted damage, of course. Alright, so potential add-ons for this creature. Uh, cowardly, Wild Apalos will flee from fights with predators rather than stay and fight. So if you hit an Apato in the wild, then it will flee rather than fight you. Exception if you attack their young. Let's say there's a baby and it's mom. If you attack the mom, both the baby and the mom will flee. But if you attack the baby, the mom will fight you while the baby flees. All right, so let's talk about the Apato in Dino World. So there will be a normal Apato while in Tame Dino. Um, there is a mutated Apato, the product of two tamed Apatos and plus a gene computer. And a dead Apato, which is a dead carcass of Apatos to be harvested for resources. So what are the traits of the Apato? Well, first, Kingdom, Animalia, Group Reptilian, nothing has changed. Uh, class Sauropod, there's long necks, short necks. And of course, the family of Spine Sauropod, which includes the Amargosaurus we talked about last video, and the Diplodocus. So the stats from Dino World, as compared to the stats from the Additional Creatures mod, we have 1100 for health, down from 1600. Stamina, down from 300, because 300 is just way too much. Food and water is is um, almost doubled to 7,000, and weight is increased from 900. I think speed is increased. Uh, since it is going to be fleeing instead of, you know, protecting itself, I thought it would be able to flee a little bit faster. So, of course, I wanted to make it uh, almost double fast, 7 meters per second instead of 4, and swimming speed is 5 instead of 3 meters per second. Torbal is not changed, and it has a fortitude of 4. Additional traits, I think the Apato in my game should be more motherly, since it is, you know, it flees from a fight rather than fighting, except it does protect its young, and it is supposed to be a protector of sorts. So I do think it should have additional, it should be more unique from Ark. Instead of being just an offensive mount, it should be kind of, you know, it should boost 
It should be like a motherly affection, kind of like a motherly dinosaur. So number one is breeding boost. Being around apatos will make tamed creatures more likely to breed and lay eggs. Uh, incubation boost. Egg incubation takes a shorter amount of time when an apato is nearby. So having an apato at your base will allow your creature, tamed creatures more likely to breed and lay eggs. And the amount of time it takes for those eggs to incubate um, is uh, takes a shorter amount of time when an apato is nearby. Also, baby level boost. Baby levels are increased and boosted when an egg hatches and is incubated near an apato. So if you have a near an apato in your base, best to have it near where the babies are because that is going to increase the is going to increase the um, the more likelihood of breeding. It'll take a shorter amount of time to incubate eggs, and baby levels will be increased and boosted. And finally, the ability motherly love. So if it's in battle, it will heal heal nearby allied creatures. And if there are young allied creatures nearby, this apatosaur will heal them by 300%. So triple the amount of healing for young allied creatures as opposed to just normal allied creatures. So finally, we're going to talk about uh, Dino World spawns in Europa. Uh, of course, blue stands for guaranteed, green stands for very likely, yellow stands for few to likely, orange stands for rare, red stands for very rare, and of course purple stands for dead. So if we can see here, uh, it spawns mostly in the swamp, but also in the um, little plains area here. So I think the Apatosaurus, I think for most sauropods, they should, there, should always, there should never be like two that are in the same area, because I think obviously like, yeah, there's gonna be some, like obviously with the Apatosaurus here, it's gonna be mostly in the swamp, but it's also located where the swamp and the plains touch each other. This is the Great Plains area. So of course, the Apato is going to be mostly in this little area between where the swamp and the plains touch. So of course, since the Brachiosauruses and other sauropods mainly are in the plains area, of course they will be spawned nearby the uh, Apatosaurus, but for mostly it'll be in the swamp area. So if you want, to find an apato, go to the swamp, but of course you can also go to this little area next to the swamp and the Great Plains area to find them more efficiently. But I do think it should be better in most games for there to be like a little bit of separation. So of course like, um, I'm trying to think of the word it is, oh diversify. So diversity in environments. So like the last video we talked about the Amargosaurus being over here, the uh, apato is over here. So there's two separate places you can find sauropods. We talked about the Bronto and the Brachiosaurus. We'll try and place them in different locations just to make their spawn rate a little bit so you don't like see like four different types of sauropods in the same area. All right, so that is gonna be the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you don't, subscribe if you like it. Um, comment down below your thoughts about the Ark Apato and the Dino World Apato. And of course, have a blessed day as always. And as always, toodaloo.